Okay, guys, I've just uncovered some shocking footage that um, just, I couldn't believe it, but it actually affirms what Rudy Davis said in his video that Jock Fresco is, Jock Fresco with Zeitgeist is an evil chimpanzee from hell sent to deceive you. And the proof is right here. Hey, first time? Yeah, I just saw Zeitgeist moving forward, and I did a ton of studying on the subjects. I think I have a really good grasp of this information, and I wanted to get a feel for what exactly we're doing on a local level, you know? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, we have a meeting every other week. We're mostly in an awareness gathering stage right now, I'm sure you know. Uh, so we hand out a lot of DVDs, uh, have discussion periods, Q&As, that sort of thing. Yeah, getting the word out, that's that's great. It's just, I, I wonder if there isn't something more I could be doing, like, right now, you know? You said you really understood the movies, right? Not just what was in them, but the uh, intent behind them, right? I mean, uh, you look like a pretty intelligent guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely, I think so. Anyway, I've... Like I said, I've been doing a lot of research on this stuff. It's just uh, it's a lot of information, a big perspective shift. Indeed, yeah. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll speed up the process here. I'm going to show you to the back offices where things are you know, really happening. Oh, cool. W what is all this? It's the uh, ritualistic sacrifice room. Wait, 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 ritualistic sacrifice? Yeah, I mean, uh, in order to properly worship Satan, the Dark Lord, we need to perform ritualistic sacrifices, obviously. Worship Satan? Uh, I thought the movement had no religious affiliations, and I thought people of all faiths were welcomed. I mean, I know Peter Joseph basically said in his first movie that today's religions are like a rip-off of star worship, but that really has nothing to do with the social model that the movement promotes and as far as I understand he made that movie before the movement even existed and besides just because he dismisses Christianity doesn't mean he supports Satanism yeah but uh, dude we're called the Venus project Venus as in Lucifer the morning star I mean of course we're gonna say publicly that we're for all religions but I thought you said you read between the lines yeah I guess I missed that part that's uh, all right um I, I just thought because Jock and Roxanne live in Venus, Florida, I thought that's why they named... You think that's a coincidence, them living there? The Dark Lord provides. Now, you make sure you know by next meeting how to draw giant pentagrams on the floor, pour salt circles, and maybe, I don't know, slaughter a child or two for practice. Well, okay then, uh, cool, what's in the next room? This is the room where we plan on how to take people's stuff away from them. <laughs> Can't wait to take people's stuff away. Yeah. Take people's stuff away. Wait, wait, why, why are we taking people's stuff? I thought the idea was to give people, like, more access to goods than they currently have, not less access. Access from access. All I know is that once we built the giant supercomputer that controls everyone... Wait, wait, what? You know, the giant supercomputer that's going to be controlled by evil scientists that will become our new leaders? I'm starting to think that you don't get this at all. I don't know. I, I thought the idea was to have a global network of sorts. Not really a central computer, but more like this decentralized global peer-to-peer -peer information sharing type situation, you know? So that everything is transparent and everyone can participate when and where they choose in an open fashion and that would weed out corruption. And then we can radically shift the focus of education so that the population becomes creative, critical thinkers capable of following their dreams and helping to solve the world's problems without requiring a price tag on their life needs. No, centralized computer that will control everything. Uh, we're, try we're trying out some Marxist programming right now. Mar <laughs> Marxist programming? How can you program Marxism into a computer? It it's such a loose term with so many interpretations. I thought we were aiming to quantify and qualify the technical systems that we need to meet our basic life needs by using life value analysis, you know, just kind of figuring out what people need and using the best method we can scientifically prove to get those needs met for everyone. <sighs> yeah, but we want to declare the Earth's resources common heritage. That's sharing. That equals Marxism. Straight up.
So because of that oversimplified association, we got to do things in the exact way Russia did them. But Russia failed horribly. Those economic models were microcosmic attempts at human opinion-based central planning. So while they may have shared property, they still had governments, states, police, and were still forced to compete in a global market economy, meaning they were never truly cooperative or empathic societies anyway. Well, sorry, I was texting my mom. I, I, never mind, uh, we don't have time. Just remember, we want to share resources, we're Marxists. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense, yeah, yeah. So what's in the next room? Oh, you can't go in that room. Why not? That's where I meet with the higher-ups. Higher ups? I thought this movement wasn't really hierarchical in that sense. I mean, I realize that by necessity it has an organizational structure of a sorts, but not one of authoritative top-down decision making. No, I mean, I mean the real higher ups. The CIA agents, Zionist bankers, UN officials, Illuminati members, who are, you know, using our Satan-worshipping supercomputer cult to push their New World Order depopulation agenda on the public. Wait, what? New World Order depopulation agenda? Yeah, I mean, didn't you hear Peter in that one interview say that he personally felt he would be irresponsible to bring a child into the world at this point? And then think about how we always talk about the carrying capacity of the Earth not having more people than the Earth can sustain. Depopulation. Oh, I never thought of it like that. It just always seemed logical, you know, not to have more people than the Earth can sustain, but we can sustain the people we have right now. The World Health Organization even said that feeding everyone on the planet is technically possible. Uh, I thought the whole point of the resource-based economy was to redesign our planet system so that we can provide for every person on the Earth without having to kill anyone at all. No, nope, we're going to kill everyone who doesn't agree with us and uh, take their land. <laughs> Yes! Take their land and then kill them. This is pretty basic stuff. It's getting really frustrating. I have to explain this all to you, to be honest. I mean, didn't you see that three-second clip in Addendum where there's a picture of a hand making a triangle with the sun through it? Obviously, the Illuminati are behind this. I mean, there's an eye. There's there's footage of an eye in Addendum. How, how more blatant could we be? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm learning. Um, it's I'm, I'm, I'm just... So what's in the last three rooms? Well, that first one on your right is where we hold our neo-Nazi discussion groups. Neo-Nazi? Well, yeah, since we're Marxists, we're obviously socialists, and Hitler rose to power with the National Socialist German Workers' Party. And how else are we going to spread Satanism but by following the example of Hitler, a self-professed Christian? So, obviously, we got to support the Nazi agenda of fascist world domination and eradication of the Jews so that we can benefit our Zionist banker Illuminati leaders. That's not even internally consistent. And this is the room where we spend most of our time. Smoking pot, doing nothing but touch ourselves to pictures of the buildings and cities Jock is designed because we're a bunch of lazy hippies who just whine about the environment and sit complicitly doing nothing, waiting for a magical utopia to appear. And uh, the last room is our shrine to the Holy Trinity. Wait, Holy Trinity? I thought we were... Well, well I guess we're Jew-hating Zionist Satan worshippers? We are. I don't mean that holy trinity, I mean Jock, Peter, and Roxanne. Ah, all right then, I guess I did have a few things mixed up, but what basically what you're saying is we're a satanic hippie socialism cult for lazy Nazi Zionist anti-Semites who just don't want to work and expect a giant supercomputer calculator run by evil scientists to create a utopia while we worship Peter Joseph, who is actually being duped by the Illuminati into bringing about a one-world government for the ruling elite? Yeah, basically you got it right. Uh, there's a few little nuances that were lost, but you're catching on quick. Um, so if you really do want to get involved right now, you could go drain the blood of a calf. Jock is getting hungry, and uh, I'll be honest, he didn't live to 94 by accident.